Okay, so now that we have Ajax working, I want one more thing to happen, and that is when I leave the page, when I'm going to leave, if they haven't signed up their email, I want to actually have an alert that essentially allows them to sign up before leaving, or at least attracts their attention there. Because something with a landing page especially is they might get the information they want, and but not actually go to what you're trying to have them do, which is sign up with their email, right? You, It just might not happen. So what we wanna do is increase the likelihood of them giving your email by having an alert come up in, in the way of a modal. So using Bootstrap modals, we are gonna be doing this. So um, going on Bootstrap, getbootstrap.com, we're gonna look at the modals right here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this code, and actually I can just press copy. And I'm gonna bring it into home.html. Actually, in fact, I'm gonna make a new template inside of newsletter. So I'll make a new folder in there and do templates. And then inside of there, we're gonna make a new folder called snippet uh, uh, newsletter. And then inside of there, another folder called snippets. And then finally, a new file called modal.html. We paste that in and here's our now newsletter modal. So at the bottom of my home.html, I'm going to go ahead and include this, or rather, I might want it everywhere. So I'm actually gonna put it on base.html, and right at that last um, body tag, I'm just gonna say include, and it's gonna be newsletter slash snippets slash modal.html, and notice it is snippets. Okay, great. So now it includes that if I save it, and look back at my project, the modal doesn't actually show up. It's not actually there in a way. So now what I'm gonna do is actually have the script for it to actually work, to actually load in, like to actually see the modal like show up. Now to do this, I'm gonna add a new class in here, or rather an ID for the modal, and I'll call it sign up modal. Okay, so now that I've got an ID there, in my J jQuery stuff, I can do document.ready. Let's actually make some space here. I'm just gonna give us some space. And then we'll do function. And I'm gonna grab the modal being var marketing modal equaling to the dollar sign and then hashtag sign up modal. Um, that will actually grab our sign up modal, which is related to this. So we definitely wanna save that. And then I'm just gonna have, I'm gonna do the body, as in the body tag, mouse leave. This is a built-in function. And I'll just have that modal show up. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and then do dot modal. And this dot modal stuff is coming from the bootstrap uh, related JavaScript code, which is this. So we go ahead and save it, I refresh now, and if I leave, notice that that modal comes up, and it will happen every time, right? So I don't want it to happen every time, but that's what's happening right now. And if we actually look up a little bit, we do have our join form related stuff here that we might wanna have with this marketing modal. So we might want these two things together. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut this and paste it up here, and also put that join form inside of this document ready stuff. So we save that. Let's go ahead and tab this in. Okay, and I'll get rid of this last script tag because we don't need it anymore. We refresh and there it goes, it's working again. So now what I wanna do is inside of this modal, I wanna actually have that form. So I'm going to hard code the form for the email stuff, just like what we started doing, but now I'm definitely gonna do it um, as far as the join form is concerned because I know exactly what I want rendered in that join form But I don't necessarily have all the fields and all the stuff that I want in here But I will copy this and then inside of snippets here. I'll call this join form again or rather We'll call it sign up form .html. paste this in and it's virtually the same thing. It is the same class Right, so the meaning that when we look at our base, this is still the same, and then we still wanna get all of that data, right? So serializing this data. And so the signup form, we need a couple things, and I don't need these if statements any longer. 
Um, I still need this join form error because of my JavaScript, but really what I need is I need my input group. And this is gonna be input type equals to email, name equals to email, value equals to, um, well, we don't wanna put a value in actually. So we'll put a placeholder and we'll say your email dot, dot, dot. And then the rest of the if statements we'll get rid of. I will keep that CSRF token in there. Um, so this should be it. Hopefully it is, but it's what it should be. So inside of this modal, I'm gonna get rid of this and just say um, include newsletter slash snippets sign up dash form dot HTML. Okay, so now that I've got that, if I leave out of here, I see my emails actually in there or at least a place for it. So back into that sign up form, we do wanna add a class for this as form control. We save that and refresh and there we go. So now if I do ABC at Gmail and I hit save changes, um, well, it should actually have the changes fail, but let's go ahead and try it again. I'll hit join. And it says this email already exists, just like what we've already seen. If I do this and hit save um, our email, oops, not save changes, but join. It says, thanks for joining. Okay, great. So now we wanna update how our modal works. And we're gonna do this by, instead of having the modal footer, we'll just get rid of that. So I save it, come up here, and now it has my join stuff there. And here we'll say, are you sure? you want to leave, uh, something along those lines. Okay, cool. So the bad thing about this though, is it's gonna constantly show this even after we've already submitted our email, right? So when I come here, are you sure you wanna leave? Well, yeah, I already did it, right? Okay, cool. Both of them change and then I exit out of that and it comes back, right? We don't want that. So real simply, we just go into our base.html and now what I'm gonna do is gonna make a new variable and we'll say did dismiss modal equaling to false. And if did dismiss modal, then we will actually show that modal. And now success did dismiss modal equals to true. And there we go. So that's now gonna be setting this dismiss modal itself. So we save that, we refresh in here. Now I'm gonna leave the page. Up, oh, this should be did if not, right there should be an uh, exclamation mark. Now if I do it and ABC, you know, whatever, at gmail.com, I hit join, it says thanks for joining. I hit exit, I try to leave again. Now it is showing it um, as we wanted. And also notice that both places say success, thanks for joining, that's good. And we can also dismiss our actual modal itself um, inside of the form. So if this was actually showing up, we don't want it to show the modal anymore. So I'll come in here and say dish modal and hide. So we'll save that, refresh in here, bring it back at gmail.com, join, it goes away, success, thanks for joining. That modal is no longer there. Very good. And then the last thing that I wanna do is if they say cancel or if they dismiss it, so let's refresh in here. If I hit X here, I want it to say it was dismissed. So it's not gonna constantly show that. Um, basically allowing me to say, well, if they want to get rid of that nag, whatever that nag is, then we definitely wanna make sure that it is definitely gonna not show up again. So to do this, we are gonna put another one here and say marketing modal on hidden.bs.modal. So hidden function, we'll just do E as an event, and then did dismiss modal equals to true. We save that, refresh in here again, I come in here, hit exit, and now it's it's ignoring that modal from, from showing up. Okay, cool, so now that we've got that, let's go ahead and save it. So get status, get add dash dash all, Get commit, update modal for sign up saving or sign up form, get push Heroku master. So if you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.